Good morning YouTube. I uh, wanted to just do a video on how far I've gotten on the rocket heater thus far. Um, let's see, a little bit of description of what's going on here. <coughs> uh, I made the aluminum, or not aluminum, geez oh Pete's, angle, angle iron rack to hold all of the uh, uh, fire brick and I've got these four at the bottom running sideways and four on uh, on a horizontal end to end there and uh, let's see how many one two three four five six seven eight um, nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen I used to is that fifteen nine there's eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen fifteen fire bricks so far and uh, what I did here is made this protrude through the face and this will end up being welded in and when when I weld this I'll have to stitch it meaning I'll I'll spot weld it there and then I'll spot weld it at the end I'll spot weld it in the center and then in between and then just keep doing that and that's called stitching and if you started to weld here and go all the way across by the time you get to the other end it'd be all warped out of shape um, but the other thing I got here is um, the uh, the uh, clay liner is going to go right on there, and <clears throat> I went and bought the split fire brick. This is the uh, inch and a quarter, where what's in here is the two and a quarter, or two. Yeah, this is two and a quarter. This is inch and a quarter. So when I cut the the six by six uh, steel tubing, which is going to be uh, it's going to be six inches out, six inches across, and six inches, six inches back, and then it's going to be basically vertical like this. And uh, and then I'm going to line the inside of it with uh, with this, and I'll line the bottom as well, and see how that lines up pretty pretty close. It's about a eighth of an inch off, and then here. It's just a, just a, you know, a, maybe a quarter of an inch. So that's not too awfully bad. That's going to work out great. That way, my 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 uh, um, my uh, fuel tube will be insulated as well. So anyway, <clears throat> um, that's as far as I got here so far. Now, um, what I what I wish I wouldn't have done is cut it here at this location. I wish I'd have cut it here, but I didn't have this built. At that point, and in the last video, you notice I had a different configuration on the uh, uh, fire brick, and what I ended up here with now is uh, a much larger cross-sectional area, um, and uh, this is uh, not going to cause us any restrictions. So, um, if I had my tape measure, I'd give you that dimension, but. This is about uh, this is about nine inches. This is the height of the brick, and uh, I think it's uh, four and a half across there. So four and a half by nine is is what our what our cross sectional is there. It would be better to lay it sideways, but anyway. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna take the the top, and I'm gonna cut around the circumference again here, and I'm gonna cut it at this weld mark. This is uh, this piece is inserted into this one in this little uh, flange thing here. So they welded it there. I'm going to cut right at the edge of that weld. I'm going to take this section and mount it on here. Cut this section out, and that should get us up to you know the top of here. Then we got a permanent situation. Then I'll rework the, the top to get that to attach. So that's my next step. I'll be working on that today. Once I get that that uh, this 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 ring off of here and onto here, and all of this welded in, and then uh, and then we'll move on to uh, getting the uh, uh, that section installed. And uh, well, <clears throat> I also may be working on a fire or excuse me, an ash pit um, out of the bottom. I may do that just because I know 
when the flue gases are coming out of here, you know, ash will fall down into the bottom. And there's an awful lot of space here that can that can take up ash. And I wouldn't have to clean it out very often. But uh, yeah, maybe that's something I'll work on, you know, next season. I don't know. But it is a thought. Right now, I have this tube that goes in there. And it goes right into a hole in the bottom. So I'm going to... I'm just going to kind of keep that there for now. I might be able to use that for a primer, you know, stick a vacuum cleaner on it or something to uh, to get some uh, uh, negative pressure here. I don't know. We'll see. Again, it's a design as you go. So that's what I got so far, and uh, we'll come back at it when I get uh, a little further with it. All right, thanks for watching.